JW Direct Mail. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. And if you're curious, yes, JW does refer to the Jehovah's Witness. I got a piece of direct mail. I heard that because of the pandemic, Jehovah's Witnesses weren't going door to door anymore. Uh, and they're, and believe it or not, they're actually using the mail. And I'm going to go through a piece of their mail and talk about how it relates back to your business, how you could use direct mail, how you could use uh, sales concepts and so forth. I am Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. If I haven't introduced myself yet, I'm not sure. Today's my birthday, uh, May 13th. Uh, th this may be coming out a day later, uh, but <laughs> let's talk about this. And this, I, I've been doing direct mail um, reviews for quite a while now. And since I've started, I realized that uh, quite a few other people also do the same type of deal. So I, I think it's great. And it's definitely worth watching some of those people out there. One in particular is Steve Cypress. If you haven't seen Steve Cypress, go check him out on YouTube and Facebook. He's probably in some other places. His last name's spelled S-I-P-R-E-S-S, -S, I believe, Steve Cypress. Uh, he has every Monday's Direct Mail Monday, where he will take a piece of direct mail or a concept around direct mail and talk about it. So that's great stuff. This is, I've uh, blocked out some of the things. This wasn't even directly related to me. This was uh, to uh, a previous occupant and uh, or current resident. And I'm current resident, so I opened it up. Uh, and it's from a, a fellow named uh, f f fellow named Barry from uh, up north from here. And just on the envelope, just to give you a, <clears throat> a concept, uh, very well done. It has a, it, it kind of has a flowery thing on the envelope, which gives it that feel that it's from somebody that you know, and that it's not business related. Uh, not just real basic live stamp there, which is also a good thing if you're trying to get through to somebody and you don't want to appear to be junk mail or doing any type of a pitch. And I'm not talking just if you're if you're trying to uh, bring someone over to your way of thinking when it comes to religion, I'm talking about across the board. It doesn't matter. When it comes to people, people respond the same way to most of these concepts. So you gotta understand the big picture here. Whether you're selling TVs or selling Jesus Christ, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, at least in get into getting in front of them. Obviously, you're going to have a different, <laughs> different uh, discussion that you're going to have with them right off the bat. Uh, one thing I'd recommend if you're doing something like this, if you there's any way that you can hand write these details or hire somebody to hand write the uh, the uh, return address. Okay, go talk to mom. Can you shut my door, please? She's 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 outside. I think. I have three kids and sometimes they don't realize that I'm I'm doing my show so that's always fun. Uh, we've got you can, if you handwrite the return address and the address gives it much more a feel of being a real thing and something that is people are going to open it. Most people, this is a concept going way back. Gary Halbert, the uh, marketing genius, used to always talk about the A and the B pile about how people take their mail and they separate it right off the bat before it getting any deeper, before opening any envelopes. If it looks like an advertisement and something they wouldn't be interested in, it automatically goes in the trash. So if you can get past that by basically giving the concept that you are not just typical junk mail, that you're something different, that you might be someone they even know, it will at least get your envelope opened, which is one of the toughest things to do. So that's that's just the envelope. And then we go a little bit further here, and we've got, uh, it, it's really interesting, you don't see this as often anymore. I'll try to cover up his address here, Barry's, Barry's address, but you've got kind of the, um, the printed out stationary paper. You used to see that a lot in the, in the 90s and early 2000s uh, when, when you just print out kind of a background on your <laughs> on your printer uh, it's it's good paper which is also one of the things that kind of will draw a person in if the, if the paper's not too glossy but if it has a little bit of stiffness to it it'll get a little bit more attention um, and it says uh, to uh, to the previous resident or current resident and uh, 
goes through, I hope you and your family are doing well. My name is Barry and I live in, he gives his full name, I live in your neighborhood. He doesn't really live in our neighborhood. He lives uh, quite a few hours north of here, but I guess it's generally a neighborhood. Uh, I have some important information that I can share that might be of interest to you, especially now we're dealing with a worldwide pandemic. All of us are concerned with what is going on in the world today. Many are worried about what is gonna happen in the future. He has a question mark there. Probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> Will suffering ever end? Gets into the heavy stuff pretty quick there. Uh, I've enclosed a tract that shows the very comforting answer from the Bible to this question. If you are interested to know more, I invite you to check our website, jw.org. Please keep in mind we offer free Bible studies. This Bible study will answer many questions such as, why do we grow old and die? What is the purpose of life? How can, how can you find real happiness? Why does God allow suffering? I'm hoping to discuss this with you. You're welcome to contact me at the above address or phone number. So he's got all that information there. Sincerely, Barry. And he does have an actual signature there, which is nice. Even if you do print it out, it, even if uh, handwriting also draws people in. What's that? Yeah, please close the door. Thank you. <laughs> We've got um, hand, handwriting would also be helpful even on the letter, but it's not it's not absolutely necessary. These are just ways to be able to attract more attention, to be able to get your thing read. It makes a big difference. And we can go into more and more details as far as how I would go about handling this a little bit differently. He has these uh, questions, you know, why do we grow old and die? What is the purpose of life? I would have bulleted those out. If you break up your sentence structure quite a bit, you will also draw more people to read it. Uh, give a little bit of space in between the paragraphs. Have more paragraphs. It tends to invite the eye through, especially people that are just kind of glancing over. I tend to dig into these things more often because I have a marketing eye and I'm looking for what they're doing right, right what they're doing wrong. Is this something that we could talk about on, on, on tonight's video? And it is. So. There's a lot of different ways that he can improve. Uh, he does have a call to action, which in the sense is, you're welcome to contact me at the above address or phone number, which is nice, also has a website. If you give one single call to action, it tends to get better results. Although some people say if you at least give two, two different types of calls to action, so go to a website or call this number, that can also be helpful. But especially if you're saying it's the same thing, He's kind of offering a little bit of everything here, offering the, um, uh, you, you know, uh, invite you to check out our website if you're interested to know more. It, it's it, it's very vague. Uh, keep in mind, we offer free Bible studies. Maybe if you say we have a specific Bible study coming up, we'd love for you to be part of it. This, why don't you come check it out on this date? If the more specific you can be, the more likely it is you're going to get response across the board and you can measure response a lot easier that way as well. Overall, something is better than nothing. The fact that they're going, I applaud them for, for wanting to go door to door. And of course it comes with, like he said, a, a little tract here that is uh, uh, basically your, your, this is one of the things that Jehovah's Witness, if you've ever seen their materials, they have all the same materials. I believe they're produced directly from the from the uh, head of the church itself. And uh, you know, we can go into how how well brochures work out. This has a whole lot of questions, a couple little quotes from the Bible here and there, and learning more without cost. Basically, this has a little bit of a better call to action. You know, read lesson eight of this brochure. Discuss the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses. Click here, click here, uh, you know, check mark this box. Uh, put down your language, your name, your address. Fill out and send in this form. So you can send that back to them and get more information type of deal. So overall, it's better than nothing. If you're wanting more response though, you've got to treat it more like an exciting thing that people would be interested in. And I got more details as far as how you can go about doing this with your business on a very broad, um, across the board, long-term strategies. My book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You get a free copy at amazonproofbook.com. That's all the time I got for tonight. Have a great one. Get out there and let the magic happen.